Greetings, bitches. The cries have been heard and Bungie has released a new kinetic grenade launcher and I think I speak for all Lion Ears when I say that we are the most excited for this gun. The triple grenade launcher loadout has always been one of my go-tos ever since Mountaintop reigned supreme and ripped open assholes in the Crucible. Having used Mountaintop religiously in the Crucible because I have a small penis, I can definitely say the triple grenade launcher loadout will always be a shell of what it was. However, we can definitely stir up some spicy loadouts with the ignition code and the reissued memory interdict. This is going to be a two-part video, and in this video we will be discussing the weapons, and in the second video we will be discussing the mods. At first glance, and after using it for a bit, the ignition code is definitely an awesome weapon, but beggars can't be choosers. It has a solid perk pool, however the lack of auto-loading holster makes me a bit sad, so I will most likely be using the Dragon Shadow with the loadout. Among the perk pool, there is definitely a few combinations that stand out to me. In the first column, I think Slideshot will be one to chase strictly for the reloading aspect. The only perks that I think will not be worth chasing in the first column will be Field Prep and Quick Draw. Field Prep is nice because of the ammo reserves, but if you're like me and moving a lot, the crouching part of that perk will never be taken advantage of. Plus, there are many other reload options. Quick Draw wouldn't be necessary due to fighting lions per chimera. With that being said, Slideshot Surplus, Ambitious Assassin, and Lead from Gold are all going to be very good options for the first column. The second column of perks has great choices for everyone depending on how you want to use the weapon. Do you like using it for boss CPS? You have a choice between Warple Weapon or Frenzy. Do you like using it in tandem with the Fighting Lion? You have Thresh or Demolitionist. Do you like using it more than your Fighting Lion? You have one for all or Danger Zone. The roles I will be chasing are as follows. Note for that all my roles, the ideal barrel would be Hard Launch, and the ideal magazine would be Spike Grenades. I am strictly talking PvE as well. Lead from Gold and Frenzy. I think this would probably be my personal god role for how I use this loadout. Lead from Gold is extremely helpful when you'll be running a heavy grenade launcher, and if you're like me, two grenade launcher ammo finders. Having used three grenade launchers these past couple days, I have actually yet to see a special finder brick. I'm not sure if it is a bug or intentional, but either way, lead from goals is extremely valuable because I find myself using my special launcher just as much as my fighting lion. I chose Frenzy because I often find myself using it for majors and bosses alike. Having that damage bonus will always be an obvious staple. Ambitious Assassin and Frenzy or Demolitionist. I actually really like Ambitious Assassin for this build. I tend to use fighting lion to engage and my special to clean up, allowing me to have the two extra grenades needs to mitigate the lack of auto loading. Demolitionist can also mitigate the lack of auto loading but can also provide extra grenade energy upon a kill. Slideshot and Vorpal Weapon or Frenzy. I mentioned earlier Slideshot will be great on this weapon and comboed with a damage dealer this will obviously provide more DPS. One of the great things about this weapon is that it almost seems as if many of the perk combinations will most likely be a great role. I think the hardest thing to chase will be having an optimal roll and spike grenades. In case anyone is wondering if I had to choose secondary options other than hard launch or spike grenades for the barrel option, they would be either linear compensator or quick launch, and for the magazine options, it would be high velocity rounds. Let's talk heavies. We have plenty of heavy options to use. The Interference 6, Behringer's Memory, Crowd Pleaser, Blast Batu, Memory Interdict, Swarm of the Raven, and Outrageous Fortune. Rather than going through each one individually, I will go through my ideal roles and which weapons they can roll on. I will also list in my opinion the best roll for each weapon. I'm going to note three things. That hard launch and spike grenades are my ideal barrel and mag options. That I prefer adaptive frames over rapid fire frames. And that I am strictly referring to roles for DPS. Auto loading holster and quick draw. In my opinion, this is one of the best rolls for your heavy slot. Pull it out quick, fire the load, and stow it away. Can't get any better than that. This can roll in the Behringer's Memory, Swarm of the Raven, Outrageous Fortune, and the Blast Bat to you. Field Prep and Full Court. This is right up there with auto loading and quick draw is one of my favorite rolls. Generally you are pretty far from a boss for DPS and this takes full advantage of Full Court, and Field Prep is great for extra ammo and the fast reload is top tier. This can only roll on the Interference 6. Impulse Amplifier and Elemental Capacitor or Disruption Break. Impulse Amplifier is an amazing perk allowing for much faster projectile speed and a faster reload that is crucial for DPS. The only current weapon this can roll on as of this video is the reissued memory interdict. Elemental Capacitor is great regardless of which subclass you are using, and Disruption Break is very good for cleaning up with a Kinetic Grenade Launcher. In my opinion, the best rolls for each Heavy Grenade Launcher are as follows. Memory Interdict, Impulse Amplifier or Auto Loading Holster, and Elemental Capacitor or Disruption Break. Outrageous Fortune, Range Finder and Quick Draw. Swarm of the Raven, Auto Loading Holster and Quick Draw. Blast Bat to you, Auto Loading Holster and Quick Draw or Clown Cartridge. Crowd Pleaser, Field Prep or Clown Cartridge, and Quick Draw or Demolitionist. Interference 6, 
field prep or auto loading holster and full court. Behringer's memory, quick draw and auto loading holster or demolitionist. I hope this helps shed some light on the triple grenade launcher loadout. It has been a while since we have been able to use three grenade launchers and I'm sure there are a lot of new players looking to give it a try. There are many mods that will definitely accentuate this build and I will be covering them in the next video. However, the weapons do make up a big part of the build. Let me know what your favorite heavy grenade launcher is in the comments. I love hearing from everyone.